What's up guys, this is KG from Castro Studios. Today I'm gonna to go over how I go about naming and organizing all my files. Let's check it out. So I like to keep it kind of basic. I go the name of the artist, where I created their own folder, which as you see here. So let's do Nick Nathan, dope guy, what's up Nick? Then I have a folder for the songs. So each song I go into, say this is called Come Down, has a folder in it, right? Now for the session itself, I name it as the artist name underscore song name underscore version number. And that helps me keep track. I could go quickly do a quick search if I need to. If they hit me up a year from now, don't do that, please. And say, can I hear this session? I could quickly find it. And the version number at the end of it, of course, lets me know what, what revision we're on. You know, if you're gonna come in and retract something, I'll have it as a whole new file. So I always wanna keep what we did before just in case you want to go back to it later. You would hate for them to be like, oh, let's go back to what we originally had and you can't because you overwrote it. So use that version number to kind of, you know, keep all your stuff in line. Now let's pretend that this is a mix, right? I print in line. So I'll go here. You can simply name. I would name it underscore mix underscore version 01. Hit OK. I'll bounce it out. Click on it. Right click it. I would export the clip as files, obviously, right? And then I would choose where I want to save it. All that boring stuff, right? And as you see here, all my mixes have their own folders with the song name, so the same type of scheme, and I'll just go YouTube. Boom, it's saving right there. So now if I want to navigate to it, I know exactly where it is super fast. So if they call me, boom, YouTube, right here. But it's not, you know, because I didn't actually bounce it, but like that. So a very, very important thing to get used to doing is having your session files backed up in two or more places. Get in the habit of doing that periodically, very periodically, because you never know when a drive might crash. You know what I mean? You don't want that to happen. So it's that saving it to two external hard drives and the cloud or, or whatever, doesn't matter. As long as it's three separate places, two or three separate places, because you don't want something to crash and you have to come back and re-record everybody and remix all other stuff for free because time is money at the end of the day. And they're not gonna be too happy about, about it too because it's their time. This has been KG with Castro Studios. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time.